Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Mathematics Pachara. Now we are solving a problem of CSIR 8 June 2023 from the probability part. The question is from part C and the question ID is 704104. So here the problem is let A and B be two events in a discrete probability space with probability of A greater than 0 and probability of B is greater than 0. So which of the following are necessarily true? See this four options. This is a problem of conditional probability. Now let's check out which of these following options are necessarily true. So the definition of conditional probability is already known to all of us and here using this one thing we can get our correct options. So it's a very simple problem. Now let's check our options. First option is given the conditional probability of a when B occurred, that is probability of A by B is equals to 0. Then we can write by the definition of conditional probability, this implies probability of A intersection B by probability of B is equals to 0. This implies probability of A intersection B is equals to 0. Then probability of B by A. This is the conditional probability of B when A occurred. This is equals to, in same way by the definition of conditional probability, we can write this equals to probability of B intersection A by probability of A. So, this will be 0. So, option 1 is given here. If probability of A by B is equals to 0, then probability of B by A is equals to 0. We get it as correct. Now, let's check option 2. It is given that the conditional probability of A when B occurred, that is probability of A by B is equals to 1. In same way, by the definition of conditional probability, we can write this implies probability of an intersection B by probability of B is equals to 1. And this will imply probability of an intersection B is equals to probability of B. So, what will be the probability of B by A? It will be probability of B intersection A by probability of A. By the definition of conditional probability we know. So, here we get probability of A intersection B is equal to probability of B. Here we put it and we get probability of B by A is equal to probability of B by probability of A. So, here it is given probability of B by A is equals to 1 and we don't get it. So, option 2 is not correct. Let's check option 3. Here it is given probability of A by B greater than probability of A. So, similarly by the definition of conditional probability we, write, we can write it probability of A intersection by probability of B sorry, probability of A intersection B by probability of B is greater than probability of A. So, it will imply probability of A intersection B is greater than probability of A into probability of B. Now, the conditional probability probability of B when A occurred, that is probability of B by A. This is equal to probability of B intersection A by probability of A. It is greater than probability of A into probability of B and by P by A. So, it will be probability of B by A is greater than probability of B and so here it is given probability of P by A is greater than probability of B if probability of A by B greater than probability of A. So, we got it and option 3 is also correct we get. And let's check our last option, option 4. Here, the conditional probability of A when B occurred, that is probability of A by B, is greater than probability of B. So, here, similarly, using conditional probability's definition, we get probability of A intersection B by probability of B is greater than probability of B. And here, we get probability of A intersection B is greater than this whole square. So, then the conditional probability of B when A occurred that is probability of 
d by a is equals to we get it is greater than probability of p square by probability of a so here it is given probability of d by a is greater than p by a we don't get this option so we get option 1 and 3 only as correct option and option 2 and 4 are false so option 1 and 3 are necessarily true and option 2 and 4 are false thank you if you like this video please subscribe our channel and 